Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, guys, we're doing a very quick match reaction to all four of the games, guys. We're going to have a live stream that's going to start around 14 minutes. If you're watching this, I'm recording this at 12, 16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to do a quick Asian Cup reaction. Let's start with the first game we got here is Jordan nil Bahrain 1. Jordan, man, um, they unfortunately lost. They unfortunately lost. And I think you have to give credit to Bahrain on the day because Bahrain, for me, heading into this game, I was like, eh. I wasn't too sure. Jordan just been that impressive. Look at the performance they just pulled against South Korea. But the Asian Cup just shows that anything can happen. <clears throat> because even though Jordan should win, given how well they did against South Korea, mathematically doesn't always add up. You know, Bahrain for me were fantastic. That goal they scored on the counter attack, man. It was a very, very good goal. And the thing with Bahrain is that once they score, they're very tough to beat. They're defensively sound. And I think this is a team that could go far in this tournament. But they're facing Japan next in the round of 16, which is tough. <clears throat> As for Jordan, they gave a good account of themselves, but ultimately it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. And you can see right here, guys, that goal just changed the game. In the second half, um, it was a pretty even game. But yeah, I mean, like I said, man, it's just it's just tough to break down this Bahrain defense when they're so solid, you know. And Jordan, like I said, man, it, it, it was just a lapse in concentration and that kind of thing. And so I think for Bahrain, man, picking up a huge 1-0 win is amazing. They topped the group at six points. We'll get to South Korea and Bahrain, man. They're playing Japan next in the round of 16. Best of luck, man. And for Jordan, man, they at least advance and they'll be playing against Iraq in the round of 16. So best of luck, man. Best of luck to you, uh, Jordan, man, as I said. Because I still think this is a team that could still do well in this tournament. You know, I still think the likes of um, Al Taremi, um, Al Nemet. You know, it was really interesting, though. Why did Al Taremi not start? And why did he pl not play a single minute of this game? That was very odd. So I do have a Jordan friend in the comments. Maybe he will tell me below because I don't really understand why he didn't start a play. And yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next game. Don't want to spend too much time, guys. Uh, keep this short and concise for you guys. Moving on, the next game is South Korea 3, Malaysia 3. Jurgen Klinsman, man. Um, I'm very, very concerned for South Korea. Because yes, they got through, they advanced from the group. My goodness me, they're defensively shambles. The defensive organization for South Korea is absolutely abysmal. And you have to give credit to Malaysia. Malaysia on the day were fantastic. And now there are some conspiracy theories. And I don't know. I'm going to bring this up. I don't know if this is true. But um, did South Korea throw this game on purpose so they didn't have to face Japan? I don't know. But if they did, that's that's incredibly shameful. That's incredibly shameful. Because you and at some point you're going to have to play the tournament as much as i didn't want to see as i'm as glad as i am they didn't play against japan it's also kind of bad that why would you just forfeit like why would you purposely you know put yourselves in a position because there was one point in the game where malaysia were actually leading against south korea let's talk about the game real quick south korea man great great goal there from the corner um goalkeeper did a goal line saved it but it actually crossed the line remember all uh yeah it was pretty much like that and then malaysia scored a beautiful goal after halftime, very, very good goal to Halim. I don't know what the Cho, the goalkeeper South Korea was doing. He was terrible. He should have done better there. And uh, then Malaysia even scored again. I mean, scored the penalty from the pen spot, 62nd minute. Very, very clumsy penalty given away. And then up, and then Hanzi scores the own goal. South Korea works so well. And then Son gets a penalty there for a terrible dive, a terrible challenge. And then Morella scores a 90 15th minute of the game. Very, very good goal. Fantastic goals. And for South Korea, man, defensively, they were just terrible. They were terrible. They were the much better team on the day. They created a lot of chances. But my issue with South Korea is that they're so exposed defensively. Like, that's my big concern is that if I'm Jurgen Klinsmann, man, I you cannot play this 4 4 2. You have to play 4 3 3. Because I think because of the fact they're playing two midfielders, it doesn't work for the team. You need to have more players in the midfield to sustain it. Yeah. And for South Korea, man, they got to do better defensively, man. Jurgen Klinsmann, man. There's a lot of criticism for you. And um, yeah, man. And like I said, man, Cho can't start. Cho cannot start in the knockout stage. You have to start Wang Yichan. You know, and I think he's just coming back from injury, so I kind of understand why. But Wang Yichan, he better start the next game. And South Korea is playing against Saudi Arabia, guys. And that's going to be a tough game. That's going to be a tough game. We'll get to Saudi in a bit. But yeah, South Korea, man, I expect more from them. Malaysia, man, they were fantastic in the day. I mean, was fantastic. Halim. And yeah, man, for South Korea, man, they got to improve defensively. They have to improve defensively if they want to win this tournament. All right, let's quickly touch a basis upon Group F. Uh, Kyrgyzstan won, Oman won. Oman, Oman, Oman. I am very disappointed in Oman. This was my team that I thought would be this year's dark horse in the Asian Cup. I picked this team to make the semifinals. 
And not only did they fail to advance, not only are they not making the semifinals, they didn't even they fail, they didn't even advance on the group stage. That's in itself is an embarrassment. And guys, Kyrgyzstan for me were simply abysmal for most of the tournament, right? And the goalkeeper Tokoto made a terrible error. He did redeem though himself with make some crucial saves in the second half. Uh, but ultimately, man, Uzbeki, I'm sorry, not Uzbeki, Oman, man, very disappointing because they really should have wrapped this game on the first half. They really should have, man, with the amount of chances they had. Augustini scored that goal. And you think there's some Oman's to wrap this up, but look at how many shots they were 10 shots, three on target. Um, sorry, first half, seven, seven shots, only one on target, though. They got to do better in the final third. And the second half, man, Kyrgyzstan capitalized upon a horrendous mistake made by the goalkeeper, Mukani, and Kojo scores there to make it one all, guys. And fun fact for you guys, Kojo is actually Ghanaian. He's actually part of Ghanaian as well. So he could have represented Ghana, but he decided to choose Kyrgyzstan. So that's actually interesting. And yeah, Oman had some late chances at the end. Uh, the goalkeeper made saves. But yeah, I mean, for Oman, man, really to let this go from a winning position, man, it's, uh, it's unacceptable. Man. Really, really unacceptable. And Oman, man, very disappointing because now with this, guys, Indonesia actually advanced. Indonesia now plays against Australia in the round of 16. Kyrgyzstan is eliminated and Oman's eliminated. So very, very disappointing, man. Very disappointing. Moving on to the final game we got here, guys. I'm going to quickly touch bases with you guys. It is Saudi Arabia nil, Thailand nil. Saudi Arabia, man, they, they did the job. They got the job. They got the draw they needed. Saudi Arabia, obviously, the, more, the better team on the day. They were creating a chance. Thailand, for me, defensively, were really solid. You got to give them credit. They were solid defensively. They did score a goal there in the first half, I believe. It was disallowed. And then Saudi Arabia did score an eventual. Actually, Saudi Arabia missed a penalty. Radif missed a penalty. Great, great save from Anun. And then Saudi Arabia did score a goal in the second half. It was disallowed, though, because I believe it was offside. And you can see the Saudi team, man. They're just, there's just something weird about this team. Like, this team, it doesn't feel like the same team we saw in the World Cup. This team, it feels like this team has really regressed. And they're going to have a tough matchup in the round of 16 versus South Korea. As for Thailand, shout out to Thailand. They were fantastic defensively. This is a te difficult team to beat, man. And Thailand's going to be playing against Uzbekistan. And guys, I like Thailand's chances. I think Thailand can give a good account of themselves against Thailand. I mean, sorry, Uzbekistan. And you had a good guard, the goalkeeper, made seven saves on day. And for Saudi Arabia, man, they got to do better, man. Roberto Mancini, man. Easy guy, easy guy for the job? I'm not so sure. And it's actually really interesting. They're benched their goalkeeper. They played a new goalkeeper for this game. So that's interesting. But yeah, Saudi Arabia, man. Very, very underwhelming. Al Dasari, man, was not effective. And like I said, man, that Saudi core we saw the World Cup, many of those players aren't even there anymore. Like the likes of Al Faraj. Um, I don't really remember the other names. Um, you know, those guys aren't even there anymore. So it's a very changed team. So, yeah, for Thailand, man, it's going to be interesting. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this quick reaction, guys. So the stream was starting around five minutes from now, guys. So please remember to join that if you can. Uh, please hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I go live. Hit that like button, guys. And, yeah. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.